Hello children, welcome to AIMS India's online classes. In today's class, from mathematics subject, quadrilateral topic we are going to discuss. So in today's video children, we are going to learn about some special quadrilaterals. Special quadrilaterals. So quadrilateral means the geometrical figure formed by four points, the geometrical figure formed by four points, four points in that no three points are collinear, in that no three points are collinear, which we have learned already. So, in quadrilaterals, some special types are there. Today, we are going to discuss about them. So, first one, it is about a parallelogram. The name of the quadrilateral is parallelogram. So, parallelogram, it is a quadrilateral. It is a type of quadrilateral with both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. So, suppose this is the quadrilateral because the quadrilateral in which both sides of opposite sides both pairs of opposite sides are parallel it is called as a parallelogram before satisfying this condition we have to call it as a quadrilateral so let's say uh, a b c d is a quadrilateral so here a b and b c are adjacent sides here a b and b c are adjacent sides so why they are adjacent sides because they are having common end point b they are having common end point b so that's why they are adjacent sides so then what about a b and c d what about a b and c d a b and c d they don't have any common end point so they are not adjacent so they are said to be opposite sides the sides which are not adjacent are said to be opposite sides so here a b and c d are opposite sides if they are parallel a b and c d means if a b is parallel to c d so this is a one pair it's only one pair one pair of opposite sides are parallel in the same way if you take bc and ad if you take if you take bc and ad so in this uh, bc and ad also no common end point is there so they are not adjacent so they are opposite if this uh, bc is parallel to ab sorry bc is parallel to ad and uh, ab is parallel to cd if this first pair this second pair if uh, both pairs of opposite sides are parallel so then this uh, abcd quadrilateral abcd quadrilateral means quad quad abcd this abcd quadrilateral will be considered as a parallelogram so a quadrilateral abcd which is satisfying this condition which condition both pairs of opposite sides are parallel this condition is said to be a parallelogram is said to be a parallelogram so it is a kind of quadrilateral having this property opposite sides are parallel two pairs so regarding complete properties of parallelogram we will be learning uh, learning in the coming slide children it's just an introduction what is a parallelogram so next rectangle so what is rectangle a rectangle a rectangle is a parallelogram in co in quadrilaterals parallelogram is a special kind rectangle is a kind of parallelogram 
means indirectly it is a kind of quadrilateral it is a kind of parallelogram a parallelogram in which in which all four angles are right angles is a rectangle is a rectangle so this is the quadrilateral first we have to assume this as a quadrilateral we have to assume this as a quadrilateral a b c d is a quadrilateral so when it will be a parallelogram if uh, ab is parallel to cd if ab is parallel to cd and bc bc is parallel to ad both sides of a uh, opposites both sides of opposite sides are parallel so it is said to be a parallelogram suppose if it is a parallelogram opposite sides are parallel along with that along with that in which all four angles are right angles so this is angle this is second angle this is third angle this is fourth angle if all these four angles are right angles means angle a angle b angle c angle d if all the angles are 90 degrees if each angle is equal to 90 degrees so then already they are parallel already opposite sides are parallel if this angle is 90 if this angle is 90 if this angle is 90 this angle is 90 opposite sides also becomes equal not only parallel because of this 90 degrees opposite sides also become equal so this kind of parallelogram we call it as a rectangle we call it as a rectangle we call it as a rectangle so rectangle means it's a kind of parallelogram or it's a kind of quadrilateral so if we tell parallelogram no need to mention opposite sides are parallel but if we tell rectangle is a type of quadrilateral then we have to mention opposite sides are parallel so that's why we are naming it as a parallelogram so opposite sides are parallel so rectangle is a parallelogram in which all four angles are right angles or rectangle is a kind of quadrilateral in which opposite sides are parallel and all angles are right angles like that also we can tell if all angles are right angles and opposite sides are parallel so then indirectly opposite sides also will become equal opposite sides also will become equal because uh, what is the meaning of parallel what is the meaning of parallel children so why when these two lines are said to be parallel when these two lines are said to be parallel the distance between any two points or the distance at any place between the parallel lines is equal so this is here also distance equal here also distance equal here also distance equal here also distance equal indirectly this uh, side will be the distance between the parallel lines that wa this whatever abcd is there whatever abcd is there ab is the distance between the parallel lines cd also distance between the parallel lines so distance between the parallel lines is always said to be equal so sides also equal sides also will become equal so this is second type of quadrilateral chain, rectangle <coughs> so next rhombus next we have rhombus we have rhombus rhombus also a parallelogram means parallelogram is opposite sides are parallel both sides of opposite sides are parallel rhombus is a parallelogram whose all four sides are equal whose all four sides are equal opposite sides are parallel that is one condition along with that condition if all sides are equal if all sides are equal then it will be called as a rhombus then it will be called as a rhombus so a parallelogram in which all four sides are equal is called as a rhombus 
So AB equal to BC equal to CD equal to DA. Next one. So next one, square. Square. Next another quadrilateral square. So square is also a parallelogram in which all four sides are equal like rhombus. In addition to that, in addition to rhombus, one more additional property is there. What does that mean? And all four angles are right angles. And all four angles are right angles is called as a square. So in the rhombus, it's a parallelogram. All four sides are equal. Here the angles, angles, this uh, there is no, no compulsion that each angle is equal to 90 degrees. Regarding the angle, we have not mentioned anything in rhombus. We have told just it is a parallelogram, all four sides are equal. But in square, all four sides are equal. Along with that, all four angles also right angles. All four angles also right angles. All four angles also right angles. So then it will be called as a square. Means square can also be called as a rhombus. Square can also be called as a rhombus in which all angles, all angles are equal to 90 degrees. All angles are equal to 90 degrees. If we say the definition, a parallelogram, then we have to tell in which all four sides are equal, all four angles are right angles. But, but when we say, but when we say, but when we say a square is a rhombus, a square is a rhombus, so then simply we can tell a square is a rhombus in which all four angles are right angles. We won't tell about this, four sides are equal. Why means? In the name rhombus itself, we have told in rhombus already four sides are equal. That will be called as a rhombus. So square is also a rhombus in which four angles are right angles. Or a square is a parallelogram in which four sides are equal. Four angles are right angles. Four angles are right angles. So four sides A, B, C, D. So AB equal to BC equal to CD equal to DA. Four sides are equal. Angle A equal to angle B equal to angle C equal to angle D equal to each one equal to 90 degrees. So that is called as a square. <coughs> next one. So next another type of quadrilateral. We have trapezium. Trapezium means a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides, it is called as a trapezium. So it is not a parallelogram children, because parallelogram means both sides, both opposite, pair of opposite sides should be pair, parallel. But in trapezium, only one pair of parallel sides are there. So it is just a quadrilateral. It is just a quadrilateral. So it is just a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. That is trapezium. So, one more thing, we have isosceles trapezium. Here, uh, in trapezium, one pair is parallel, not equal children. Only one pair is parallel, no pair is equal. But here, in isosceles trapezium, one pair is parallel, along with that, two non-parallel sides are equal. Two non-parallel sides are equal, then it is called as a isosceles trapezium. So at that time, each pair of base angles are equal. Means, uh, trapezium means only one pair. This AB is parallel to CD. That's all. If AB is parallel to CD, only one pair parallel, they are not equal. This AD, BC, this AD, BC are called This uh, AD, BC are called non-parallel. They are called non-parallel, non-parallel sides. So they are not equal. Then it is called as a trapezium. 
suppose if AB is parallel to CD, one pair is parallel, second pair, second pair is non-parallel but equal, second pair is non-parallel but if they are equal, then it is called as a isosceles trapezium, then it is called as a isosceles trapezium. In isosceles trapezium, the base angles, angle A equals to angle B, the base angles will be equal the base angle will be equal. Each pair of base angles will be equal. Next one. Next about kite. We have a structure called kite. Means which will be in the shape of kite. So it is a quadrilateral in which two pairs of adjacent sides are equal. So this pair up to now, up to now in all the diagrams we are, in all the figures we are talking about opposite sides, but in kite, if the two pairs of adjacent sides are equal, this AD, CD, they are equal. Why they are adjacent? Because they have common end point D, AB and BC also adjacent, because they have common end point B. If this pair of adjacent sides are equal, if this pair is equal, so then if two pairs are equal, so then it will be called as a kite. It will be called as a kite. Oh, one minute. So here opposite sides are not equal, only adjacent sides are equal. Next one. So, in the kite only, in the kite only, if the kite is like this, if the, if the kite is like this, if the kite is like this, so if this is a, if this is A, this is B, this is C, this A, B, B, C, one pair of adjacent sides, they are equal and this uh, AD, AD, BC, this is a second pair of adjacent sides with common end point D, if they are also equal, like kite, like kite, if uh, two pairs of adjacent sides are equal, along with that, if one angle, angle formed at B is a reflex angle, means greater than 180 degrees, greater than 180 degrees less than 360 degrees. So, if, if one angle is a reflex angle, so then that kite will be called as arrowhead. That kite will be called as arrowhead because it looked like an arrowhead. So, that is why because arrow, so arrow will be looking like this, arrow will be looking like this. So, that is why it is called as a arrowhead. So, arrowhead is a is an example of kite with one reflex angle, with one reflex angle. So, according to this chart children, all the uh, special quadrilaterals are related according to this chart. So, in quadrilateral, we have mainly, we have mainly three types, parallelogram, kite, trapezium. Again in parallelogram, we will be having rectangle and we will be having rhombus. We will be having rectangle and we will be having rhombus. And in a rectangle, if all sides are equal, then it is called as a square. Because in the rectangle, already all angles are 90 degrees, but only one pair of opposite sides are, sorry, two pairs of opposite sides are parallel. In that, if all sides will become equal, then it is called as a square. So, in kite, kite with one reflex angle will be called as arrowhead. Trapezium with uh, non-parallel sides equal, it is called as a isosceles trapezium.
So, what is quadrilateral chillum? The geometrical figure having four sides. What is parallelogram? If both sides of opposite sides are parallel, then it is called as a parallelogram. What is a rectangle? A parallelogram means both sides of opposite sides are parallel with each angle 90 degrees. So, what is square? Each angle 90 degrees, both the plates of opposite sides are parallel, means it is having all the properties of a rectangle, along with that four sides are equal. So, then it is called as a square. What is the rhombus chillum? Parallelogram where all sides are equal. Where all sides are equal. What is kite chillum? Adjacent sides are equal. Two plates of adjacent sides are equal. What is the arrowhead? Two plates of adjacent angles are equal with one reflex angle. So, what is trapezium? Only one pair of opposite sides are parallel, another pair not equal. What is isosceles trapezium? One pair parallel, non parallel sides are opposite sides are equal. So, in this way, we have all types of quadrilateral children. So, starting from parallel. Starting from parallelogram, we have rectangle, we have rhombus, next square, next trapezium, in that isosceles trapezium, next kite, in that arrowhead. So, this is a chart relating all the quadrilaterals, relating all the quadrilaterals. So, you have to uh, just remember the names you learn. Complete properties of all the structures we are going to learn in the coming videos. So, just in this video, just we have told the basic definitions of all special types of quadrilaterals. 1. Parallelogram. 2. Rectangle. 3. Rhombus. 4. Square. So, 5. Trapezium. 6. Isosceles trapezium. 7. Kite. 8 arrowhead. So, about 8 types of special quadrilaterals, their basic definitions we have learnt today. Basic definitions we have learnt today. Okay, children. So, and this is a chart. This is a chart showing how special parallelograms are related. Okay, children. So, remaining we can learn in next video. So, thank you for watching our video children. So, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates. So, you can also visit our website children aimstudy.in for previous classes, quizzes, worksheet, activities, English classes, coding classes. Thank you children. Have a good day.